Hello everybody, this is Neil Nar, and we're once again in Casting of Frank. Uh, this is a, a very interesting kind of movie story game. We're on chapter three, we're getting ready to go right into it. I hope everybody's ready for this. So let's, uh, let's start this action up. A Curiosity on Main Street, Cedar Hills, 1980. We just got kicked out of the uh, mill and we're now cruising the streets. camera what a complete and utter disaster don't be so dramatic it's not like we've got a real deadline Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline gothic i like it hey what are these oh i got those for us all to wear when we shoot surprise wait you guys are both acting, so it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <laughs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Nope, that's like his time. Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. <laughs> you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh well, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would, Linda. Tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. So what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Probably. Who were the victims? What do you think he was up to? See the victims. Who were the victims? Just people. Some from the town. Some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found parts. Do you know what this means? Let's get excited. He's kind of one that he can make a movie. Do you know what this means? That we need a new location? No, dummy. That we already have the best location. How do you... Think about it. Our movie shot in a real-life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity, Buster. Oh. People are actually going to want to see this thing. We're going to be like... Totally famous! Okay, sure. We might get some butts in seats, but like, what if they don't like what they see? Then we just gotta make sure these last couple of scenes are gonna blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck! But not if our fucking camera is fucking broken! Ugh. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, 
Yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. <laughs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. <laughs> What? Uh, um... You want a piece of me, too? Let's do Gow Gobble. He was, seems Howdy, to be partner. the Joker. How's life on the range? Did he hit his head or something? The hell's wrong with you? Uh, nothing, sorry. Ugh, why is Dad such a demanding asshole? I came home to help, not do everything. I mean, I'm not a maid. Do I look like a fucking maid? Yep. You better not say I look like a fucking maid. <laughs> he's just worried about mom. Psh, more like he's worried that as soon as she croaks, I'm out of here. And then he'll have to be his own fucking maid for once in his life. Doctor. He'll be hopeful. He's the hopeful type. Yeah, but mom's going to get better soon, so it's not going to matter. <sighs> right. Yeah. Of course you're right. Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? Why? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My... Darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from my heart. Okay, what do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Oh, we'll do nervous. Because we're asking for money. Just like 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks. That ain't pocket change. That's how much camera repairs cost these days. Seriously? We're trying to make this thing good and... Good, don't come cheap. Hmm. Huh. You guys really needed to finish the film? Yeah. All right, I'm in. <sighs> Who am I to stand in the way of art? You won't regret it. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. All right, it's a deal. Yep, you needed the money. Try not to waste it. Don't worry, we'll put it to good use. You all right there? You're looking a little, uh, wiggly. I'm fine, it's just, uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go... At any time! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Hmm. Drugs or a curiosity shop? We're going here. It's going to make it more interesting. Why not? We have to. I certainly am curious. Regarding said shop, eh? <laughs> yes, I get it. Lead the way.
Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner's a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not gonna put the best ones in the window. We gotta look inside. Well, how about going in? Ah, uh, too bad. So much for that. We can still out at the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello. Hello? We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Of course you are. Please. Come on inside. Little old lady. Yeah, that's not always uh, creepy and scary. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you, if I can find it out back. Please, make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Yeah. Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. Could it have been in... No. We have here. Maybe this one? Oh. Where did Rabbit I... Oh, Cute bunny. How has this place become so... Yeah, that's uh, a creepy mask. All these stuffs you probably find in Dead by Daylight. There's the, uh, George. Let's talk to Linda, but I want to make sure there's nothing else first. I'll let you read well, that I've here. This place before had some lousy luck. Pause it if you want to read it. Creepy bird. Yeah, that's a creepy bird. Out of door. Nope, oh, can't go in there. No breaking and entering allowed. Okay, let's see. Before we talk to her, let's see what's over on this side. I do like these old antique type shops, but this one's a little on the creep factor. Some old film. What's in it though? Ooh. Another doll. Ugh. A trapper. Imagine cuddling up to that at night. Well, that's not creepy. Yeah. We've missed a doll somewhere, it looks like. Okay, there's some stuff on the other side of this wall. You stay there. I'll be back for you. And it's a smiley face. Ooh. Who would want to watch this Reap fast. Somebody does. That looks like the TV we turned on. That was that. What do we have here? I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. Uh, that's that's a nasty piece of equipment. Okay, let's talk to uh, our partner in crime here. Let's see. Could she comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm gonna be like so bummed out. 
you're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. And only 20 bucks. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? Twenty bucks. Hmm. I gotta be good to the old lady. Okay. Sure. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. It was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that's us. Yeah, she's not creepy or anything. Oh, I'm such a moron. I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? <laughs> milk is only a quarter? Cool. Cursed Andy movies? Dean. Really? I'll Must let you read that. Wednesday. Pause it if you want to read it. What do we have here? I could so find a place for these in murder mill. If we had any cash to spare, which we absolutely do not. Yeah, but out of shame. Oh, beer trap. Uh, we don't have a quarter to spend. But I so much want to try it. One. Good old fashioned milk. Is it out of date? No. Oh. Another missing kid. I hope they're found. Up down here. Another piece. A lot of long shoe. We missed a bunch of stuff somewhere when we had a chance to walk around earlier. That's a shame, but we'll be fine. Ring, ring, ring. Hey, Chris. Robert! Wait, I thought you worked at the library. Wait, how would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so. One milk, please. Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. <laughs> All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. Back when milk was cheap. Yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Did 
didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, super into it. But... And we got our fourth person to be able to die. <laughs> Does my dad know you're going into the mill? He watches that place like a hawk. Uh, yeah, we had a little run-in with him today, but we're gonna sneak back in to shoot the rest. <sighs> Man. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, Dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. You need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. He's sneaking into that mail. What he wants to say. Chris. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. When you spend enough time in my line of work, you realize every place has got its demons. You ready? Take care. Hey, hey, hey. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. We have four for this horror movie now. Which is exactly what you need for Dead by Daylight. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. Mm. And now, a new guise, a new timeline, a new chance. It has an age. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Mm -hmm. Back into the mansion. These walls have your eyes. We're going to play into chapter four this time. Didn't do enough in chapter three to end it. We still got some time. Okay. Okay. He would be included. Bad dream. Ugh, how long was I out? I I don't even remember falling asleep. 15, 20 minutes? <sighs> Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie. Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it, didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. 
I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Chris film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So they say. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's going to have to pay up. Nope, here's going to kill us all off. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> Ending. Yeah, let's, we got to look around. Got to see who's going to kill us in the back corner. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Come on, go with him. Oh. Oh, now this is a real bold statement kind of room, you know what I mean? <laughs> New Augustine got cash, but not like this kind of cash. <laughs> Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a racket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills, if I were you. But rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Okay. Then tell me everything you know about Augustine. <laughs> Augustine Lieber. Elite collector of obscure cultural artifacts. She pretends to be all business, but plays the long game with her cards close to the vest. She's hard to pin down. And? Ever since I arrived, I've kept my eye on things. Observations, behavior, decor. I've been building a profile. Which is? Lieber is no ordinary collector. She likes the dark stuff. The really dark stuff. She'll stop at nothing to get it. Very impressive. Okay. Now it's your turn. My turn for what? Told you what I know, and now you go. I think you pretty much covered it. <laughs> hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Okay, explore the atrium. See if we can, can find deny any. this place would make an incredible film location. I... Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or... Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? 
You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime, I, um, I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bunny had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Daddy, that's... It's quite sad. <laughs> what a dirt. Very touching. what Stan's story is. And what about you, Stan? Where'd you get your piece of the film? Well, now, that is a very good question. Mm. And an expensive one, too. Mm. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. more little check here make sure it's not something to look at oh that's an interesting little tree dead bonsai make sure i didn't miss anything over here oh, oh there's a picture Ooh. Huh. now that was a curious sound Oh. Looks like practically every room in the house. But one. But where's our host? Some more diagram. Temporal machine. Okay. Okay, we did that room. Name is Archibald McMillan. Okay. Now we'll go up to the next room. That's an interesting stained glass window. Cool statue. Hmm, missing a piece, though. Oh, to find that piece. Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. Whoa. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Face of Sensationalist evil. trash. True story of Frank. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. Let you pause and read that. And then I'll let you pause and read that. Yeah, that's it. Madman, that was Frank Stone. Maddie. Can't be easy meeting someone from her mom's past. Yeah? Now what would you do if it was you did instead of me? Oh. <laughs> no way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Who's Stan? <laughs> Not in it a Looks like it opens with years. a key. No way. Who are you talking to? Okay, window open there. You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm, uh, no, I, I wasn't... 
I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. I knew that. To Bonnie. I've just felt so, like, empty since she died. Like I'm sleepwalking through a nightmare and I just can't seem to wake up. It never gets easier when you lose someone. But it does become less suffocating. I hope so, because sometimes I just feel like I'm going crazy. Like, she really is out there, guiding me, trying to tell me something. That's why I came here. It felt like that's what she wanted me to do. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well... She was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like mom. Any good stories? I'm sorry, there's just something I never told anyone else or cute. It's not a good idea to dwell on the past. That's too nostalgic. I want to hear what it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids, making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but... There's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. Thank you. Hey, hey guys. Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah! There! Right there! Oh my god, there's someone out there! I just think expected something like this. They might be after the film strips or I think so. I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. She's got this place wired with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. Good security probably means we're pretty safe. Really? Right, um, so... Do you think we should find Augustine? Give her a heads up? Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. That the cop? I think that's the cop. We're gonna end it right there, folks. We'll come back to this. I hope you enjoyed this episode so far. It's definitely getting good. Um, if you did, give me a like button. Leave me a comment of what you think. 
and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.